Good morning, YouTube family. It's Saturday. Oh, yeah. That means catch up day for me. And yes, priorities, priorities, priorities in our lives. It's insane. You all are so busy. I'm so busy. But we make choices every single day to uh, place the most important things in our lives, the most important uh, tasks in our lives at the front of the line. And for me, for me, one thing that's uh, weighing over me big time right now are the running shoe giveaways. Trust me, I have not forgotten troubleshooting, finding the time to troubleshoot the internet and why it's not working. Uh, it's just, it's hard. It's hard. It's, I'm struggling to find time. But today, I'm not traveling. We're here, we're relaxing with some coffee, and I feel like I finally have some time to organize all of my running shoes, all of your running shoes that you've sent in through your generosity. So anyway, and yes, we're gonna talk about prioritizing running in our lives and how I go about doing it every day. And I'm excited to hear your thoughts as well. Well, heck, let's do it. Come on now, question of the day. How do you prioritize running in your life every single day? How, like what's your tips, what's your tricks, especially for the new runners out there, you might find a lot of value down in the comments, I bet. Um, or or if, you're start, if you just started grad school, or your doctorate, or maybe you just had your third child, or maybe uh, you, you're, you're a new landlord, I don't know, maybe time just became a lot more tight in your life, a lot more constrained. So that's the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up, keyword time, keyword time, because we're all, it's like at the end of the day, time is a beautiful thing because it's what we have to work with here on this earth. Okay, I am, uh, I'm just, uh, oh man, oh man, oh man, everybody. Just gotta, I gotta focus, gotta focus, 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 focus. <laughs> We're getting there, we're getting there. The process has begun, but again, I don't wanna be stressed. No, there's no reason to have stress in this world. So I'm gonna take the camera off just to show you kind of what I'm trying to uh, envision for the future, for, for, for getting these shoes out the door to all of you. I, 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 I need to do better, I really need to do better. So here's my shoes that I'm waiting to test for all of you. Um, there's the full review shoes coming up. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, including these as well. These are the first impression shoes that need a test for you. But look, look at the studio. It's just a little, it's a little crazy. Just a little crazy in here. So, oh my goodness. Uh, let's look in this corner. So these are all the shoes that you have sent to me. Thank you so much. Uh, down here, more here, more here. Uh, and then what I, my vision is that this rack is gonna save my life. This rack, which I can't even get access to because there's, because of your generosity, there's just so many boxes, I can't even get to them. But then we've also got, hold on, wait for it. This is our shed out here that, uh, once again, just has more. Now these are actually empty boxes that I'm saving so that when we do the running shoe giveaways, I can ship them to all of you in these boxes. So there's a lot going on. There's just a lot, there's just a lot going on that I am, um, I'm excited about. But again, it, we cannot let stuff, oh my goodness, we cannot let stuff dominate our lives. So thank you, keep the shoes coming. Um, I, I'm feeling better because I'm doing this now so that we can, and basically, all right, here it is. If the camera does not work, I'm just gonna use the camera on my computer. I just, you know, it's just enough is enough and it's not gonna sound as good or look as good, but at the end of the day, we can at least get shoes out the door, so. I taking a rest mama is still napping and so the boys and I we're gonna hang out we're gonna hang out oh you guys are crushing it in here with the magnetiles Michael too oh
Tell us, Michael. Tell us. There we go, folks. Back from the run. Oh, man, this Polar Vantage 5, it's cooking the grits. All right, we got 7.2 miles, 58 minutes and 30 seconds is what it's looking like. Uh, I've never had a watch where I can actually look at the stats so easily right on the face. Uh, and it looks like minimum heart rate was 111, max was 123, and I was averaging about 807 per mile is what it's saying. So very fascinating stuff. And okay, recovery begins immediately. I received this Cure Hydration Mix from the Cirque Series in Utah. It's lemon, and this is what's in it. Organic coconut water, pink Himalayan sauce, and it has no added sugar. I'm, and it's, it's basically a lemonade. It kind of tastes like a very uh, tamed down lemonade. I'm really liking it and I might have to order more. So anyway, let me get some water here, bada boom. So all I'm saying is, is we're doing good here, folks. Just trying to do the little things, do the little things and uh, keep everything in uh, the right order of the day, right? Priorities, all about those priorities, okay including hydration. I must say that is, uh, I've, got, I've gotten a lot better in the last, let's say 12 months drinking more water. But as you can see, I still need to add a little, little goodness to the, to the mix. Okay. Today, one of the priorities was to organize the studio and I think we did it. I think we did it. There's a couple little, little, uh, details that I still want to adjust in here, but overall, I'm feeling much, much better. The rack is full, ready for the reviews up here, and then the running shoe giveaways down below, all the shoes at the bottom. And yes, I just wanna mention, I have not thrown away this map that a vlog fan sent to me. This is the, the map of the Cleveland Marathon, and I kept this, even though it was bittersweet that I was unable to race, I kept it as a reminder. Uh, a reminder not to get injured, and a reminder of the pool, no, nah, no, nah. a reminder to keep fighting, keep fighting. So I'm going to hang this back up and at least keep it up until uh, after Amsterdam. So that's going to sit up there. And then also a quick update, uh, since I was cleaning out the shoes today, these will end up in the next giveaway, the Hoka Mafates and the Solomon Supercrosses. I've decided not to take them to 50 miles. Um, I, like the, I like the Mafates, but I just, um, a little firm. And then on this guy, no rock plate. And so I'm struggling to take these out into the mountains too much. So anyway, just wanted to update you on those two shoes. And then kind of a big update before we dive into the topic of making running a priority in our daily living is that I do believe uh, that I'm honing in on my shorts for Amsterdam. I was very, I was very uh, convinced that these green, you know how much I love green, that these Nike shorts were going to be the ticket and I'm not counting them out yet, but I must say everyone, the John G three inch split shorts, I'm going to go with black. Most likely I am really, really enjoying the comfort and the uh, breathability and just the movement of the shorts. They just feel more nimble than the Nike shorts. So anyway, just wanted to update you on that with respect to Amsterdam. Okay, let's dive in. And speaking of priorities, I'm letting the boys stay up past their bedtime. So they're outside playing in the sandbox. So I got to keep this a little concise. But on today's run, I was just reflecting on on running and how much running, as we probably many of us probably do throughout our, our days, uh, how much running I, I think gives back to us um, as a you know quote unquote sport, even though it's probably a non traditional sport at this point in history. So as I was running and reflecting on that, how much running is given back to my life, I was just thinking like, why is running a priority in my daily living. And so I just came up with a couple points. I'm not even gonna call these tips. I'm just gonna say they're reflections and you can uh, take them as you will for um, reflecting upon them in your life. So basically for making running a priority in my life, um, I've had to learn, especially since graduating from college, and it's hard. It's hard. You all know, especially if you have a family, but like, it's just hard to say no to fun things like going out with your friends on a Friday or Saturday night when you know you have a 20 mile long run the next day. Um, so over time, and it took me time and it's, it's an act of patience, everybody, but I've learned the art of saying no, not to everything, 
but frankly, I'll just be honest to many things uh, that I would love to go do. Um, yeah, that I would just love to go. even, you know, I can think of like going to sporting events, like going to the Rockies game or going to a, a Broncos game. And instead of doing that, which is fun, staying home, be with the family, get to bed early so I can wake up the next day refreshed, ready to rock and roll, especially during peak training. So that's one, one reflection I had today. Um, listen, race day is our happy day. It's our birthday. It's our, it's our Christmas present to ourselves. When I'm tired, when I feel like time is very tight and constrained, kind of like, was it yesterday or two days ago? When time is tight and I'm struggling to prioritize running into that day, I think about race day and how fun race day is, especially when you're fit, all right? And the more you run, the more consistent you are in building up that aerobic base, frankly, I think the more fun you're going to have on race day. So don't forget race day. That was another reflection I had. Um, and then um, kind of a funny one, but hey, why not? Don't forget the endorphins. We, and I'm not the scientist in the room, but like there is a scientific uh, chemistry reaction going on or reaction. Um, uh, there's a chemist, <laughs> not the scientist. There's something happening in our bodies uh, when we're exercising, and especially when we're running, that endorphins are released, and again, I don't know what's going on in there, but it makes us happy and joyful and refreshed and maybe clears your mind, and that's a good thing, especially in the modern world. So that is another reason I prioritize running in my daily living. Okay, and last one for how I make sure that uh, running is prioritized every day is I... Don't forget the past. And frankly, we have heroes in our sport. You hear about Babe Ruth. You hear about Wayne Gretzky and Michael Jordan and Vince Lombardi and all these greats and uh, Andre Agassi or whoever, whatever sport you follow, um, uh, Jack Nicholson in golf. Like there's a lot of big heroes in a lot of sports, but don't forget, there's heroes in running as well. And we can look to those people who have gone before us and blazed the trail and frankly are heroes in the running world. Like they've, they've shown us that we can achieve great things if we set our minds to our goals. And so books like uh, about Bowerman and founding Nike up in Oregon, books about Alberto Salazar and Dick Beardsley battling under the sun, books like Roger Bannister and the Perfect Mile uh, back in the 50s, I do believe. So all I'm saying is don't forget that we runners are are fortunate as well to have heroes and I look to them in in reading to inspire me to prioritize running every single day all right now if you need a rest day I get it I get it but every single day at least for me so anyway I love you guys that's my little my little reflection for today I hope I brought a little a little value a little inspiration to you and thanks for again for coming through the uh, organization process here in the studio and, uh, oh yeah, so here's the gear. I'm gonna go inside and test the live streaming. Here's the microphone. I will keep you posted on how it goes. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. And if you wanna go a little deeper into the vlog, I'm gonna throw back to 2018 on the right-hand side, an old vlog when running was getting going on the channel, and on the left when we talked about some of our favorite running books. All right, thanks for being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.